Hi, welcome back to today's video, which is what not to do when you're a wedding videographer or a photographer. This is a funny topic because you are invited to somebody's private party and your role is the fourth most important role out of all of them. And meanwhile you're doing this, you will need to be like a shadow. A shadow, not like this guy. And you also don't want to bother anyone. <laughs> Please, <laughs> sirs, leave. Please. Where do you want me to be? Anywhere other than here. Okay. This is a solemn assembly, not a photography session. Please move. If you are this photographer, well, congrats. You just fucked up a couple's best day of their life. <sighs> Intro. I recently shot a wedding and even though I thought everything was planned out, I did some huge mistakes and, and I'm here to share those with you. No, this is not my video, but later on I will share you my video as well, but let's start with mistake number one. Pre-wedding meeting. So I shot this video for one of my friends and because of the pandemic, the whole idea just came out of nowhere. I knew that I will need to record a video at their house, but basically that's it. You will need to meet the customer before the wedding day because at the wedding day everybody will just run everywhere and you will need a schedule with all the highlights for the event. And also you will need to understand their general thought about this video because, oh, I trust you, well that's not enough. Mistake number two, check your gear. So I bought one of these fancy audio recorders, the Zoom H1N, and for some reason that's not working with the normal SD card, micro SD card. And I had to run to Best Buy to buy one of these HC SD cards, micro SD cards. And this was my second run to Best Buy, because earlier that day I went to buy a Zion crane stabilizer. And, well, that was my first day I ever used a crane stabilizer. And did I ever tell you that the Zoom H1N was not working with my purple panda? So for the entire wedding, the groom was holding the recorder just like it was a bouquet. To be fair, I told him to keep it in his inside bucket, but the solution for all of this stupidity is to buy or check all of your gear at least two days before the wedding. And this way you will have time to see if they are compatible or this way you will have time to, to charge them if needed. Mistake number three, do not do more than what you can. Now, I was told that I will need to record a video and I also need to take the photos. And I asked another creator, Casey Sue, hey, is it possible to do wedding videos and pictures solo? And she responded, I would say, no. Impossible, no. Very difficult, yes. Your focus would be more on one versus the other. And this is true. I also asked one of my director friends and he basically asked me if I'm gonna record with three cameras, I will do the lights, I will be the audio guy, I will do the photography and then I will edit the whole thing because this is insane. Well, it was. And this is the reason why I'm saying don't do more than what you can. And if you need help, just ask your friend who knows camera and with this you can potentially bump up the quality of your video. Mistake number four, choice of camera. And getting back to Casey Sue, who's mainly working with GH5 cameras for wedding videography. <sighs> Autofocus on GH5, it sucks. Casey Sue, how do you do this? Uh, wedding is special and there are no retakes. So you will need to be present and you will need to be fast because everything that you're recording needs to be as sharp as possible. So me personally, in every future wedding video, I'll put the Canon on the crane and I will leave the GH5 on the tripod. So this way the most important shot will not be cut and I will be able to use another angle that's not blurry. Mistake number five, camera angles, rule of 180 degree, rule of thirds, and the leading lines. These people are paying you to provide them with the most cinematic video as possible. And to do that, you will need to pay attention on a lot of things on the field. Well, first of all, if you have multiple cameras, make sure that you put all your cameras somewhere where the view is not covered. Also, make sure that you follow all the videography rules and your actors or your customers are lined up correctly and it makes sense. This video will need to be really aesthetic and you're the only one who's responsible for this quality. Mistake number six, the shot list. No matter what, this is still a wedding video 
and it has a recipe and this recipe works and worked for all the wedding videos and I think this is something that I actually did good. Even though this is not a cinema movie, it still needs to have a story. Watch 10 wedding videos and they are all built up on the same recipe. Romantic music at the beginning and then showing the location, the speech of the bride, the speech of the groom, the kiss, happy faces, the moms are crying and then the camera just pans out with this leaving the feeling like they will live happily ever after. And this is great because if you think, the hard part is at the recording and not at the editing. So just put together a shot list and make sure that you record at least 25% more than what's on that list. You will need it at the editing. Thank me later. So let me show you my first ever wedding video and let me show you how I formed a different story with the same exact recipe. But I would take out the speeches because the speeches are, you know, personal. Originally this day was supposed to be a lot louder, more bohemian with more alcohol. But 2020 happened. Normally they would travel, eat, discover lands and seas, but now they celebrate where the biggest adventure is life. The year 2020 is the year of backyard wedding ceremonies, apparently. Thank you, Mr. Green. <laughs> Although we have to wait until next summer for the big celebration, we are so lucky to say our vows in front of loved ones near and far. <laughs> Did you get that in Romania? <laughs> <laughs> As the old saying goes, life is an adventure best traveled together. Bianca and Dimitri. I hope you liked it, but at this point it's not about you, it's about the couple and they really enjoyed it and the feedback was really good. And don't forget that this video might be precious in five years, but at the same time... This is not about the photography, this is about God. Thanks for watching, see you in the next one, bye bye.